Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. How are you all doing? I hope you're all safe and well. I ended up bulldozing the entire Chateau's Peak lot from the De La Sol Valley world to build my custom mansion over the property. I left the original lot name because I wanted to make it seem like an upgrade. And here we go. Here I am applying the found well the floor foundation. Let's see, I didn't apply it too high because I was thinking on adding some stairs. Okay, I added a wall and a few square walls. Now I had no idea what, how, or how exactly I was going to build this mansion. I was looking up a few images on Google to see if I could come up with some ideas, see if I could change something make it to my own unique um, design but I'm pretty sure my designs don't compare to the very skilled youtuber designers out there that play the sims 4 that seem to be um, sims 4 experts see I never really got into building anything before even when I had the sims 2 because I thought it was kind of like a big huge time waster and I would think well all I had to do was just upload some images and that would be it. That would be just enough even to view anything that I would design but it is kind of fun because at the same time it's like you're showing your progress of the process. So the way how I did this was um, I didn't leave the record button on because I was afraid that I was going to take too much space in my laptop. So I just decided to get a few um, clips within this video process. So for example, I would record just a scene here and there and then I would start putting it all together in my video program that I'm using. Um, the program that I'm using where I added all the video clips is called Shotcut. Now I'm not sure if all of you have heard of it but it seems to be a pretty good decent uh, video program and it was pretty simple to learn even though it took some time. I think it took me about a week or so just to get the hang of it. Because unfortunately, my laptop's window maker could not accept any um, video clips for some weird reason. So I had to jump on and find some freeware, which I was afraid of because most freewares out there are um, contaminated um, Trojans and whatnot. And all of them are not really truly safe out there. but. That's why there's YouTube to investigate it. Because YouTube is a big helper though because um, it helps with a lot of investigating and researching. And all you have to do is just sit down and watch, take your time, drink some Red Bull and relax. I don't know, eat something while you're learning. Patience is key. Let's see. Had to add a bunch of windows here. I did end up using a image from Google when I looked up mansions. And there was so many squared like mansions that the design seems pretty simple but at the same time where it gets a little bit more rough to work with is the detail from inside. Plus you kind of want to match what's on the inside to the outside and from the outside to the inside. See if it's going to come out decent or not. And I chose this lot because to me it just seemed really perfect. It was like right above a, a hill and I love the, the background. I love the extra trees that are around and I didn't even have to add any more trees onto the lot so that gives me a little bit more free space to work with. Uh -huh. Let's 
see. I think this was what my second pull that I added or did I work with this one first? Yeah, I think I, this was actually my first pull that I made. This pull was accessible from the second floor. And the reason why I built it like that was because I wanted to see my sim swim through the windows, but unfortunately that did not happen. You're only able to see your sim swimming within windows from above, but not from below on the first floor. I really like the shape of that balcony. How many times do I have to count all that stretching and adding and applying, reapplying? And I love adding balconies. At first, I will admit, I didn't really like that stretching tool that they added because when I first started playing The Sims 4, I thought, oh, no way is it going to compare to The Sims 2 because The Sims 2 seems really simple to use. And if I could go back to it, I would, but I just got too used to playing The Sims 4. And when adding all these walls, I was kind of going crazy because of all the stretching and figuring out and then I thought do I have to add more walls and um, you have to toggle the camera view a lot that's what I didn't like at least in the sims 2 you were able to simply toggle a certain way and you would keep it there and then you could just go on with adding and furnishing your house and whatnot let's see added my little spa area pool, the trimming, no way did I ever think I was going to rebuild a mansion. I mean the original mansion for um, this lot for Chateau's Peak, it was really nice. It was decent but I don't know. I thought it was just too plain and I know why EA Games actually left it like that they kind of create these shells for these houses so that way when the player starts playing they get to add and manipulate and adjust modify whatever they want in the game but then that takes time from the game too it kind of makes you grow this fatigue and of course you could always like take a break relax but then it gives you like this addicting feeling that you have to go back and rework things like you want to modify here you want to change the color you want to change the side does it look good like this is it going to look for gameplay or even video editing when you capture videos you know it has to do with a lot of a lot of thinking a lot of mental exercise even though there's times where i can't easily find the words you know like even to describe certain certain things or whatever I have it all in my brain if only my brain could talk to me but then there's some times where it feels somewhat relaxing because you take control over the game no one's telling you what to do you're basically like your own um, architect even though you're not getting paid you're actually paying the the game <laughs> well you paid for the game but you're basically paying the people that created the game but there have been a lot of um there has been a lot of critiques where all these sim games well these sims 4 games were released with only um minimal content which i do agree and their each game pack is pretty expensive but then i noticed with the stuff packs they started um having them on sale so it kind of sucks to think that every time even to purchase or even if you want some new extra content even though it's not enough content for the game you always have to spend a little bit more and then that leads to people purchasing 
all these uh, gamer accounts and that's kind of weird because then you think about if they ever hack into the account in order to play these games it's it's not really worth it you rather just buy the game you do it in the legal manner and it's yours all you have to do is have an account and that's it and it looks so cool when you see this in a in a speed view if only I could work like this it would be really awesome I don't know like I would like to work a little bit faster with building houses and whatnot or maybe even streaming but if I ever get to get the hang of streaming even on YouTube I'm not sure if you have to buy something or I don't know if I have to spend a little bit more to do that I'm not really sure so if anyone out there that's watching this and is an experienced YouTuber please let me know how to do that I've never live streamed I've never even figured out how to do or use a what's it called there's a program called OBS studio where it's like a screen recorder and it records every single little thing that's featured on the screen so if you're working with whatever you're working with in the game if you're building or you're creating a sim then you're showing a really good detailed tutorial um, yeah I need to learn how to do that and then I realized that there was a lot of shortcuts I could have used during these game builds and pretty much feel like I want to kick myself in the head and at the same time I thought well I could always download content from other players but then I know I'm always like a worry wart with viruses because I've had my fair share of experience with that and I don't want to go through paying a computer tech around a hundred dollars extra just to have my laptop there or they're viewing my private content and deleting everything and then reformatting my computer oh that's just too painful I love windows look at all the nice brick and wood and I wasn't very much a lover of brick and wood for houses I thought wood was kind of like only meant for cabins and where people lived in the snow where it's like really cold and I don't know I thought wood was pretty tacky but seeing this it's pretty nice I mean if I could actually build and afford a big ass mansion like this that would be super okay right here we jump to the backyard we're adding some lounge chairs and umbrellas to prevent any uh, sun tanning I hate sun tanning I like my pale skin we're gonna add a table some chairs a little grill cooking area outside I even added like a see-through glass dance floor above it and I'm moving so fast I'm adding some floor lamps mm -hmm. it's a really nice view from the top from the bottom to the top adding some more floor lamps that looks really pretty especially for a mansion looking back on this build um, I think I could have taken my time just a little bit more the only thing was that um, during all the video editing and the video capturing it just seemed to make me feel more anxious to just finish it I just wanted to show something to finish it and of course I take my breaks check my social media see who's watching I'll add in um, some advertisements for my YouTube channel I mean it's not big big but hopefully you'll get there one day but I usually use this um, kind of as a outlet to uh, be a little bit more creative kind of like a well, if I have the time to do it, then of course I'm going to do it. Why not? Why let someone else do it when you can do it? Add some bookshelves. I love bookshelves. 
I love that black and white look. It just seems so classy and clean. Hmm. And then we're going to add a desk here with a computer while watching TV. A lot of, I noticed that a lot of houses now have desk computers right next to their TVs. And then people that have insomnia have even mentioned like, oh, I can't fall asleep with the TV on. And it's kind of like, well, you got to kind of tire out your brain. I mean, everyone's different. And I, and um, of course, it's different for everyone because it's like they're trying to look for their brain to shut off. But hey, that just means that you got to fix your sleeping hours and just that's it. Even as I'm doing this, I remember almost dozing off to sleep. It would be like around 3 a.m. to 5, and I would see the sun come out, and I would start falling asleep. I literally would end up falling asleep by my laptop with half of my body on my pillow. And then I'll wake up feeling like, why is my, why are my, uh, why is my backside so sore? Well, it's because I fell asleep. This is a huge kitchen. I love big kitchens. I think because we always had like a small kitchen. Well, it's not that small, but I mean, there's just a lot of items there. And, um, okay, we added a dishwasher, stove, some items up here, microwave, coffee maker, tea maker, ice cream maker, some dishes. I don't know what's that. Let's see, I'm gonna decide what the, oh yeah, this is a really nice um, square, like a black square tile that I used for the kitchen. We're gonna add a kitchen table, some chairs there, you know, for breakfast. That's a fancy um, ceiling lamp too. And then I added that here too in the living room. Now we're gonna have a extra dining area right next to the living room in case anyone wants to, you know, have a snack nearby and watch TV, watch some cable, stream on social media, watch some YouTube. And I'm going to add some really nice floor lamps again in the pool. I know everything's moving really fast, but that's why there's always a rewind button. So anyone out there that's watching this video can always fast forward backwards. See, we're gonna add a bathroom here. I'm not even sure those cupboards are meant for bathroom, but seems okay. So we're gonna create a bathroom next to or behind the pool here. Imagine. Well, I've actually seen some real life pools that are right next to mansions i mean the wall structure must be really strong right because what if that wall breaks down and all that water <laughs> goes into the mansion that'd be funny but that's messed up to wish that on anybody who has a nice mansion like that okay now we're going to add a few items here now there's a word that i always mess up on and um i think my my sister corrected me on this it was um miscellaneous. I have no idea if it's even pronounced miscellaneous or miscellaneous. Um, I think she said it was miscellaneous. And even looking to these items, oh, now if anybody remembers these bushes, what they're for, please um, don't be shy to mention that in the comments. Those bushes are for fast, easy access for some uh, let's just say it's for some physical behavior. I don't want to be too straightforward because I don't want to get reported by YouTube's new uh, policy, being that it's been too sensitive now. I think they overdid it. I think they're just using an excuse so that way a lot of um, YouTubers' channels won't get uh, monetized. It's just another excuse to get demonetized, which is really horrible and messed up because a lot of people have made a lot of good videos and then it turns out that they get demonetized just because a few people started to report stuff. 
and it makes no sense and a lot of those people supposedly there were parents that don't watch their kids it's kind of like well where were you as a parent and why is your child being contacted by another adult in YouTube you know so doesn't make sense but anyway back to the build here is my second pool on the second floor which is pretty nice because it's right next to the um, the stairs once you get to that second floor you could just walk to the pool and do some exercise do some laps and you could have a really nice view from the inside out You know what I, I didn't like about this game was that it did not have a security system in case if there was a burglar. I have no idea if this game even has a burglar in it. Because there's so many such nice items in the game that um, I'm kind of paranoid now. Because I remember even in The Sims 2, they would have a random burglar, but you would hear the music go da 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 and then you would kind of freak out because you're thinking, well, I can't pause it. I can't change anything so I'm trying to protect my sim and their items and all that time building it I don't think that's fair I think that's a that's an unfair feature to have in a game because if you paid for a game you know you're paying to have something there or I mean another reason why not to worry about it is that if you're making videos then maybe you want that to happen maybe you are making videos with your sims 4 games but I think that for someone that doesn't make videos and just wants to relax and modify their builds and play with their sims, um, that pretty much cheats their time out of the game. And that's not fair. I even forget the names of the furniture because they come up with so much different names. And I don't know, I don't like the search feature for the furniture. I don't like that for the furniture objects. I don't like it to me I just I don't know I've been playing this game for months now and I don't like it like you always have to write down a specific name of the furniture and then look for it and even if you spell out part of it you will not be able to get that piece and then you'll see that piece from another simmer I'm not even sure what is the correct word for a gamer that plays the sims 4 they played simmers I don't know I don't know I would just call myself as a gamer and youtuber that's it I don't um, think about any special names for that but hey if anyone out there can tell me I would highly appreciate it I'm open to new ideas new comments Ooh, I love the back view of the city. I think EA did a good job with that. Because it makes you feel like you're in LA to it. it. Well, actually, this world... This world actually has like that California... Rich-based mansion feel to it. Especially with the... The Get Famous game pack. Okay, supposedly the second floor with this bedroom is my main bedroom because it has purple and black. Just throwing it out there. Okay, now I'm going to add the second set of stairs. Hmm. We're going to add some black pillars here. I love how the pillars make everything look so nice and clean and finished. It makes the house seem more stable. I don't know, I just think that if the houses don't have pillars, it just makes them look uneasy like they're going to break. Okay, I'm going to add a extra... You know what I think? I did add a... Yeah, I did. I did add a second bedroom. Yeah, this one turned out to be like a pinkish, purple themed bedroom. I'm 
gonna add a vanity right there. I really like the vanity. The vanity is really cute. Especially like for, uh, let's say if your sim is gonna become a celebrity, then they could always show that they do their own makeup and they have the, the physical simulation activity. In fact, EA should have added more of that. They should have added the Sims to have different uh, physical simulation activity. Like, for example, how they talk to other Sims or how they flirt with Sims. I think that is too basic. They have some really basic ways of moving around. And um, I don't know. I don't like that. They should have added more. They should have added different ones. I mean, because... If this game has a feature where you can actually record clips and have videos in your system, they should have added a little bit more. But who knows? Maybe they're going to add that into future. You know, I think I should have changed those plans. I'm not happy with them. But going back on to the subject, um, I think EA should have, or they will, add some more features to the game I kind of feel like they're putting a little bit like little by little to see oh what do these gamers want but I think it's too much too but what I would have liked to see was more objects for toddlers like strollers and um, baby walkers and some baby bottles and different baby formulas things like that I don't know. That's what I would like to see. More stuff for babies. For some reason, more stuff for babies. And I'm not much of like a like a person that likes babies, but because I don't have my own children, um, I think they should have added more of that for the game. Because it just seems too adult-based. And not in a dirty way. I'm just saying that they probably figure, well, they're going to adult up their sims. So what's the point on adding things for toddlers? So we're going to add a, okay, I made the second bedroom. I'm adding a piano because my sim that I'm going to be placing in this game, well, actually, the sim that I'm going to move into this mansion is actually the sim version of me, the sim version that I would like to also see myself as but of course a girl can dream oh I just heard some fireworks outside we're not even in um, July yet anyway we're gonna add some curtains I think the I don't know I think uh, more different types of style curtains could have been added to the game too um, like more window blinds because we have like a big white one and a small one that's pretty long but I know I think they should have made more curtains to accommodate the sizes of all of the windows okay we're gonna add a bar there for some happy time you know for some whining dining how did they say on um, for some wine fine wine dining I'm not oh I forgot my brain is too much into this to this mansion that I'm building some more windows more windows don't be shy go crazy let's add a carpet let's add a counter let's see books books everyone needs books bookshelves for every room See, it's more white curtains. I think I wanted some darker curtains, but I don't know why I went with white and black here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's add some nice long light lamps. I think I, I made, okay, on the third floor, this third floor was meant for my sim to practice her music kind of like enjoy her hobby time and then here on the second floor I ended up adding like a um, station where the sim can make like YouTube videos 
Yeah, I don't think I added that part in the video, but I did add pictures. Yeah, I did end up adding like um, the leftover pictures. Hmm. And why, what happened here? Okay, I'm adding more pillars. And see, so we're gonna add a wood floor outside above the balcony. I think we're gonna get rid of the bricks here. Make it right here. We're gonna add like a long custom-made fountain. We're gonna create some pretty nice, pretty nice view right here in the back behind the lounge chairs. I'm gonna add a few trees outside just to because we already have trees that were added on the sides. I don't know. I th I think uh, the lot size could have been a little bit more bigger. And I feel like something's limited here. Oh, and this is how the house looks in the dark, which looks really pretty. And now this is the view from behind, and that's my sim character. She is now a a um, high priced celebrity, just chilling, posing every day, having fun in her big mansion all by herself. And um, yeah, she seems to be enjoying herself there. That's right, you pose. And sometimes she'll get some like random paparazzi here as well. Oh, now she's looking at the camera. Okay, here are some pictures of the view. Well, the view, the full view of the mansion. I tried to get as much images of each angle because I don't know. I just really like this this mansion view. And so this way you guys can see what I I created and finish the second pool, the kitchen, the living room. Oh, and the fish tank there too. Forgot to add the fish tank during uh, video play. And then I added a separator between the dining room and the living room. Again, the kitchen, the stairs, the bathroom by the stairs. Let's see, this is the second floor. The bathroom. The first bedroom? Yeah, the first bedroom I did. Then the second pool, where you could see from the inside to out. And then this is the hobby room, which connects to the main bedroom, as you see here. All right, things nice, themed like a black and purple. And here's the bathroom. The fancy bath bathroom. Okay, well, I would just like to say to you all, thank you so much for taking your time into watching my video. I know it's been pretty long, but this is what I've come up with lately. And would just like to say, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below in the video description. And I would just like to say you all take care and bye for now.